Hey guys, I'm Chani and you're watching The Art of Science. Welcome to the wild world of medieval engineering where we are about to embark on an epic journey of launching things through the air with our very own homemade catapult. This DIY is super simple, even you can make it home. All you need is some basic stationary items like you saw before and you're ready to launch things in air. Speaking about catapults, here's a funny but super interesting fact. Did you know that a Guinness World Record related to catapults was set in 2010 during the World Championship Pumpkin Chunkin competition? A team named Young Glory 3 launched an astounding 504 pumpkins through their giant catapult within a span of one hour. It's so cool, right? But how does this even work? Well, the answer is the elasticity of the rubber band. To know more about elasticity and elastic properties, check out our explainer video that I will link up here in the description box below and in the end screen as well. Well, when we pull back the rubber band, it tries to return to its initial shape. We use this property to create a catapult where the objects are propelled using the force that the elastic material is applying to regain its shape. Isn't that a super interesting use of a science concept? Make sure you try this at home and let us know in the comments below what all you launched with your catapult. We'll see you next week.